Angela, you are my best friend. I am truly the luckiest man to be standing here today. You are so beautiful inside and out, and I love how warm and loving your heart is. You are such a joy to be around, and wherever you go, you leave a positive difference. It says in Proverbs 18, He who finds a wife finds a treasure, and he receives favour from the Lord. I truly believe you are a blessing to me, and I love how you are such a God-honouring woman. Angela, I love you for who you are, a kind, caring, supportive, adventurous person, and you bring out the best in me. As I stand here today, I promise to love and cherish you always. I promise to be by your side through all the highs and lows of life and to explore this life together with you. I promise to serve God together with you and to encourage your relationship with Him as we join together as one with Christ. Angela, I promise to pursue you and to pursue our unconditional love together. I promise to take you on many adventures and to have a fun-filled, loving home with you. Angela, I love you. Daniel, there are many things that I admire about you, but here are just a few of them. (laughs) Your character is something rare. You have great integrity, consistently standing up for what you believe in is right and fiercely protecting those that you love. You are respectful and accepting of others and will go out of your way to help anyone in need. You are also very considerate and have touched me with your sweet thoughtfulness and kindness and encouragement. Thank you for being my teammate, my ally and my closest friend. So today I promise to you, my love will bear all things that life sends our way. Believing for the best, hoping in our future and being constant in my love for you. I promise to be by your side, cheering you on to achieve your dreams, hopes and ambitions. I choose you and only you today, and for the rest of our lives. You truly are my greatest blessing, and I love you. By the authority committed to me as a marriage celebrant, I am very, very happy to declare you husband and wife. And the bit that Daniel's been waiting for, you may now kiss your bride. We would be lost without our Angela, or would we? (laughs) You're a light for many, a very emotionally intelligent woman who thinks very thoroughly and deeply. Your perception exceeds expectations. I feel blessed to have crossed paths with you at the tender age of five years old and to be still standing here at your side at 25. (laughs) But that has been some hard yards and I'm glad I can pass the baton On to you, Dan. (laughs) You've got her now, and you best look after my best friend. Or you may be unpleasantly surprised by what your bride's friends are capable of. (laughs) For me, it has been such an encouragement to have a listening ear, someone to share with, the ability to be open with each other about life struggles and support each other through anything. It has been great to have someone to talk to about farming and able to share them most of the same interests. I know our lifelong friendship will always continue. Angela rang me up at work one day out of the blue and she said, would I like some horse manure? And I was a bit surprised, but she explained to me that one of her clients from Arataki uh, collected horse manure and sold it for $4 a bag and uh, didn't have any clients that day, so would I like to buy some? So I think I felt a bit sorry for her client, and I said, yes, I would have three bags. So she and Angela Julie went off to Murray and Jenny's farm to collect it, and who should just happen to be hanging out by the pool, but a certain young guy, primed and alerted, that a certain young lady could be heading out there that day and the rest is history. You were always willing, when available, to help out on the farm when required. Mind you, I did notice a real distraction about two and a half years ago and a sudden loss of interest. Angela, it's been wonderful getting to know you and we warmly welcome you into our family. (laughs) But Jenny and I have always talked about the girl that he might end up marrying. We hoped she would be kind, 
gentle, and have lots of empathy. We've enjoyed watching you grow into the man you are today. We're very proud of you and what you have achieved in your, rea in your relatively short life. But remember that achievements or our ideas of success pale in significance in the end. What matters most is strength of character, kindness and humility, and above all, faith in God.